hello everyone. I'm here today with Rebecca. Rebecca is one of the employees of Curve Dental who does the demos for her customers. And it, she's going to go over features, old and new, of Curve Cloud Dental Software, which is one of the cloud softwares that I recommend you demoing before you make a decision to switch. Hi, Rebecca. How are you? Hi. Good morning, everyone. I'm doing well. Thank you. My name is Rebecca and with Curve, I'm a product specialist. And prior, prior to working with Curve, I was a worked inside the dental practice for about 13 years. I used Curve in practice for six of those years. I was a regional manager with a practice of nine locations. So you know how a dental practice operates. <laughs> I'm very familiar. <laughs> so Rebecca, Curve Dental, as I said, is one of the software that I recommend. It's the oldest that we know about that. And I, my audience actually is very educated because I've talked about cloud for many years. I want you to go around and show us how Curve Dental operates and what the functions are and what the everyday functionality of Curve is. Absolutely. I always like to start here with this main screen because here on this main screen, there's only three components. The largest right now, of course, is the schedule. Down to the lower right, there's a mini calendar, but the part that I always really like showing is this whole right-hand side that we like to refer to as our sidekick. This is really how you're able to navigate, move around, curve. Every section here is always clearly labeled for the team, as well as an arrow down button that's going to give you basic access to that section without having to move away from where you're at. You're able to do things like check upcoming appointments or update phone numbers from that sidekick. We're also able to easily toggle between the patients by clicking in the name and then being able to choose which family member you might need to choose. There's also a search bar at the very top where it's, it's not picky. And even if all you have is a nickname, you can still type that information in and be able to find your patient. So a, a little warning came up. Is that due to something you were doing? That's a pop-up note here that you can create for your this patient. This is important. Yeah. So this one here is if you have things that you just really want to make sure your team is seeing anytime you select that patient, that note will pop up here in the middle of the screen for them. I love that. And the staff would love that. So this is an important yeah. feature that can be utilized quite often. Yep, absolutely. All sorts of things. If you have different sort of notifications, maybe you want your team to know. In this case, maybe a pre-med or different information here. Absolutely. Great. One of the things that Curve has built in is a fully functioning patient engagement area. And this includes an online scheduling system that we can set up for our patients to be able to find us online, be able to schedule with us um, online as well. Now, this is a, a, a part of the system that is very controllable by the team. So what they can do here is they can set up this online scheduling page that can be very specific in regards to who's allowed to schedule online, what they're allowed to schedule for, and when they're allowed to schedule it. So we're able to control all of those different aspects so that we can maintain that control of our schedule without the patients losing that ability to find us and schedule us online. This is new since we did this last time, right? Yes, this is a newer part of Curve system. Okay. Uh, where, where did you access that in Curve? So this that you're seeing right now is from the patient's point of view. So this would be what the patient is seeing, and there would be a URL that they would be able to send to their patients to put online for those patients to be able to find them. From the Curve point of view, from the user, we're going to be able to access all of our patient engagement through our Curve Grow system. I have that pulled up over here so you can kind of see that from here as well. So from here, we'll be able to see things like um, what you're seeing right now is our smart action list. And this is where the team is notified when an online booking occurs. So if we go back to the first screen, can we access it from here? Yeah. So there's up to the top left of the page, the main page, you have some different options as far as different areas you can enter right, into right. inside a curve. Yeah. And you can just access that right there from that main page. Okay, great. Well, over here in that smart action list, you'll be able to start receiving like a, an automated task list for the team where you can come in and assign different tasks and different items that need to be done. Certain things will automatically appear here, like the online bookings, but you can also come in and add in your own tasks for your team and be able to manage those tasks from here. This also gives us access to our live two-way texting so we can text back and forth with the patient any automated messages that you want to go out, like appointment reminders, 
recare reminders, any reviews, you are able to manage those types of messages that can go out automatically from inside a curve. We also have some group uh, messaging ability, like if there's bad weather, maybe there's an emergency and we need to close the practice. Um, we would be able to send everybody on the schedule a message. Um, there's also a smart fill feature that is allowing us to help fill our schedule. It's designed to help us fill that schedule. And that can actually be accessed here from the appointment book. So what I can do is I can, from any appointment, I can right click and initiate the smart fill group message. And then I can just kind of decide who exactly I want to send that message to. So in this case, it's my hygiene column. I might want to send that over to 10 to 15 other adult profi patients that are scheduled next week. And I just want to see if anybody wants to come in sooner to try to get this book schedule filled. I like to quickly go over our snapshot feature as well. I used to kind of refer to this as a digital morning huddle. This is an area where the team can go to gain a lot of information about the patients who are coming in. And let me show you this legend because I always think it's really good to be able to see kind of this big picture as far as what exactly this, this area is bringing in. So things like if patients have allergies or conditions, or if there's open or unpaid balances or insurance claims, even some basic patient information can be seen here. And this gives you what these things mean, basically. Exactly. I just like to see you, you to see what those icons mean, because all the icons for each patient will pull into this area into one spot for each day. So if you hover over these flags, it will tell you what it is. Exactly. Anytime you see these flags, you can hover over them, which I love because then you're not having to hunt down the information in a document somewhere. If you see the flag and you hover over it, it pops up for you and it's going to tell you what those flags mean. And this was in the snapshot. You, you accessed it right from the schedule. It's right on the top. Yep. We're on today's view of the schedule, and then up to the top right, we can just move, or in the top right of our screen, we can move over to that snapshot feature. Um, patients can, you can add as many forms into your um, system as you would like. And um, these are just some examples of forms I've been creating inside of my system. Um, these forms can are com also completely customizable for you. So you, uh, like you see in this example, there's these different areas inside of um, the system that are kind of pre-made. And all you need to do is kind of drag and drop them and decide the order you want them to go in. You can also add in your own areas. So you're able to go in and add your own areas, your own formatting to these forms. So you're really able to create these forms that are really unique and, and to your practice and what your needs are with your specific practices. And this is all the consent forms. Yeah, you can add consent forms. You can add your new patient intake forms. I mean, we created these for pretty much everything we could think of. We even had our post and pre-op instructions created through these, these different electronic forms. And then as patients fill these forms out, they're going to all generate the information back into Curve. So there's very little to no data entry here. You know, allergies, conditions, those are going to appear here and flag inside the system. Phone numbers, addresses, all that information is coming back in. And once the patient signs off on that form, it's going to save a copy into that files and letters section. And they're able to fill out those forms electronically via a text message. You can send forms directly over to your patient through a text message. You can also have them fill out those forms um, when they arrive inside the practice through a tablet. Rebecca, do you have these forms if someone doesn't want to create their own? We have basic templates and different areas. And then during the training and implementation process, we help you create these forms so that by the time you go live, you've got the exact forms you want inside your system. Excellent. And I want to point out to everyone that as you were filling out those forms, it would directly go into Curve. And this may not be available on some other software. Exactly. If I if I walked into a practice and I saw a big shred stack of paper, I knew they weren't using Curve's electronic forms. So I'd kind of have to talk to them about why they weren't and make sure they understood the process and the importance because they weren't having to put that information in and, and it was saving here for us. So we weren't having to scan and shred documents, things like that. Our insurance area will allow you to have multiple plans per patient. We're also able to access two separate eligibility checks here inside of Curve. So the first one here, I can right click and send out an eligibility request. This one takes about 30 seconds or less to get back into the system. So when I right click again, 
I can view a response. And this is an, a real-time eligibility check that we're able to pull in. And this example here just kind of is a good example of what we're typically seeing in these checks. Very general information like coverage dates, deductibles, maximums, benefits used and remaining, but also coverage details, frequencies, age limitations, and just a really quick way to check whether a patient is active and eligible in that moment. Yeah, and this is something that I talk about all the time is that people constantly want to get these third party companies to do this eligibility for them. Mm -hmm. And it's available for free on the internet from the insurance companies. And you guys include it in your software, correct? Correct. This is included and it's unlimited. So you can check every patient every time they come in at no additional charge within that 30 seconds. Yeah, and I want to point out that this is appears to be a PDF file that you can download and upload it mm -hmm. to the patient's document manager, basically, right? You could, but you actually don't need to do that. It actually stays stored. So when I right-click here, it's always going to stay listed here. Oh, so nice. you don't even have to take that extra step to add it into the files and letters. It's, it's going to remain right here for you. Oh, <laughs> so basically, <laughs> you guys save it on your site, Correct. Yeah, it's saved inside a curve for you. Excellent. Now, I also have our charting opened up over here. Um, now, the charting area is split in, into three sections. So up here to the top left, you see that we have access to a planning area, which is where we're at right now, a history section, which is going to show you historically things that have been completed inside the practice, as well as an imaging area. We have our own imaging that's built into the system. So you're able to take your images, your intro world pictures, panos. Those are just coming and living right here inside a curve. So you're able to come in and take those images, store those images here. We've got some templates that you can use so that you get this really steady stream of image taking. Those are just going into the template where they belong. We've also got some modification tools that I can show you. This one just shows a different, you know, just an ability to take certain images or certain measurements here on that image or mark an area of interest. Like maybe there's a watch and you could put that on the image. There's also an inspect feature that lets us move around. So this just allows us to um, modify that area and then I can move that area around as needed. We also have um, an integrated partnership with Pearl Second Opinion. It's an AI system. It's integrated. So whenever you do partner with them as well, you, there's a button there for you. and It's going to push all of your images over into the Pearl Second Opinion system. Right. And Pearl is an AI that carries detection, very popular and but they that's different as far as the cost goes, correct? That's that's basically correct. between who you don't have to get it. If you want it, then you will pay extra for it, a la carte. Yeah, just an extra that if you know you choose to add on, it's just integrated inside curve to make it easier for you to be able to integrate or toggle between those systems. I strongly suggest that I, I've been using it and AI carries detection and it really helps dentists make sure they don't miss anything. I mean, it does have certain things that we don't want to necessarily start drilling, but at the same time, I've always wondered, oh, did I miss something? This is basically tells you, hey, get back in here, look at this area. Yeah, great for insurance documentation as well. We've we've had a lot of practices sending that information in with their with their insurance claims and having that extra documentation to make sure that we're able to get those claims paid. In the planning area, this is, of course, where we're going to be able to organize treatment plans and add these plans in, in for our patients. These are what we call treatment cards, and you can use as many of these as you need. You can add all of your treatment into one card and divide it up into several different visits. You can uh, display these in separate cards so that you can display things like multiple options. So this allowed me to be able to go over financials kind of separately with my patients to say, hey, there's option one, here's option two. And it just gives them enough information that they can really um, make that decision. Today's card here actually connects this card to the appointment that's on the schedule. It also connects inside billing. These areas all connect in real time inside Curve. And the great thing about that is that, you know, things change during an appointment. And things get added and taken away. And inside a curve, because they all update in real time, it doesn't matter where that happens. It updates all together. So if I were to remove fluoride from today's visit, now it's gone from the billing section and it's gone from the schedule. So I don't have to ask my patient, did we do fluoride? Or I don't have to worry about 
sending fluoride on a claim that we didn't actually do, or even vice versa, forgetting to send something on a claim that we did complete. So it's just helping us send out that claim clean from the very beginning. When we are ready to treatment plan, we've got options there as well. So when we have team members that are more code savvy, they're able to come in and click in a specific code. This area will also work as a a resource, an educational resource for team members that aren't as familiar with the codes because they can browse codes in this area as well. There's also a composite button, for example, over here on the left-hand side. It's a white button, but this is a really quick and easy way to treatment plan because when I use this, all I need to do is drag and drop on surfaces of the teeth and the codes start appearing down at the bottom for me. So just a really quick way to be able to present this over to the patient. Also, our shortcut buttons. Those are the more colorful buttons on the left-hand side of my screen. Those are allowing us to group codes together. So there's a lot of procedures that we're doing that we use the same codes every single time. And so when I go to do an implant, I can just click my shortcut button and then the tooth. All those codes now group down at the bottom for me. And then I just have to decide how I want to present to my patients. And what I mean by that is we have an ability to text our treatment plans directly over to the patient. And of course, I can print them out, but I can also present them electronically. So I can sit next to the patient with an iPad or a tablet and be able to discuss this treatment plan with them. I also have an ability to decide what this looks like for the patient. So this is what that view would look like, similar to if we were presenting it electronically. Right now, what the patient is seeing is the next two visits, they get this full breakdown and description of the code, the breakdown of the costs. I can scroll down and add in things like payment options. If you offer payment options to your patients, I can add in my own disclosures, but I can also change the layout and the view and the verbiage that's being used on this treatment plan. So I'll switch over to a more simplified version of this treatment plan that I've created. Maybe I only want to go over the next visit so I can choose which visits I'm going over as well as which um, payment options and disclosures are applicable. So now when I go to present, there's just one line. Mine says the word fillings, and that's because that's the term my office used in practice. So now what the patient is seeing is one line. Mine says the word fillings because that's the term that I use in our practice. But if you wanted to put something different like tooth colored restorations, you can use verbiage that your team already uses inside the practice. So your patient's already used to hearing and seeing from the office. Now they just have that one line and it just has the payment options and disclosures. So it's just a much more simplified version for the patient to be able to digest the information that we're trying to to let them know at this point. Once the patient signs this treatment plan, it also asks them how they want their copy. And so they can have it text straight over to them or emailed over to them if they prefer. It's also going to save a copy into that files and letters area for your team. We can check our patients out here from this the schedule as well. So what we can do is we can right click and be able to check out. Now it'll push us over into the patient's billing ledger. Inside of the patient's billing ledger, this is going to be an invoice-based ledger. Um, a lot of our team members who weren't familiar with this type of ledger, I just really thought of it like packaging, like everything we did that day got packaged underneath an invoice. It really allowed me to be able to audit an account without having to do these full account audits or to be able to help patients understand what was happening in their billing very quickly. So for this invoice that's open here for March 18th, I I can see each step that's been taken. The patient paid a payment. There was an insurance check. I can see notes that are attached, but these can also be opened up. So I can open up this invoice and see everything that was completed that day, the provider they saw and a full breakdown of the estimated cost. I am going to be able to see um, each one of these different um, payments and how they're allocated. Curve has a new part of the system that is going to detect your insurance payments. It allows it to automatically come back into the billing ledger and post on, on this area for your team. And when it does that, it's going to allocate the funds exactly the same way it does on your EOBs. So I don't have to pull an EOB to help the patient understand what what insurance did or did not cover. So go over that again, because that's an important feature. I want everybody to actually listen to this because a lot of people complain about 
invoice-based systems. What they don't know is that it's the new way of accounting. It's not just Curve doing it. Any healthcare facility or any financial institution, they all have to go based on this new method of accounting. You can't have running ledgers anymore. That's just not as accurate and not as transparent. So when you talk about invoice-based, is that when you have a procedure, then you will have everything attached to that procedure in one spot. So you don't have to go look, oh, where is this check coming from all the way at the end of the ledger? Everything is there, correct? Correct. Exactly. And it's like seeing, you know, each step that's taken. Once it's taken, it's trackable here on this invoice because it's all just packaged in here together. And you said you have a partnership with someone that enters these? That's actually just part of Curve. So what will happen is the system's able to, because of our background integration with our clearinghouse, is able to detect the insurance payment. The EOB will come back into Curve. The system will track the the EFT release date, the tracking number. The payment comes in here in Curve and posts automatically to this billing ledger. Like you see here, this insurance payment that I've opened up, you can see how it allocates each line item. And this is going to match that EOB. So I, like I said, I don't even have to necessarily pull up an EOB to see insurance paid $20 for my exam. It paid $56 for the bite wings because it's allocating it the exact same way. Is this new? This is a new part of the system. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I, it's really exciting. I think this has been available in medical for a while. I used to hear medical team members that would have that experience. And I'm like, wow, that'd be really cool within dental. And now we're seeing it happen. So the, the, the members do, do not need to enter anything that's just there? Or do we have to go and check it and approve it? No. So the, the team does not have to check in and approve it. There's actually an area that I can move over to in just a moment that will is where you can manage it. We call it our all claims section. So okay. Nothing is needed to be done by the team. If something is needed to be done, we're going to alert the team to say, hey, this needs your attention. So that might be something like something gets denied and, and you need to decide what you do with that next. Do we need to send more information? Do we need to resubmit? Is this the patient's responsibility? Curve's going to let you know, hey, this needs your attention. Okay. Rebecca, explain to me one more time how this new feature of Curve works, because I'm very interested, is that EOBs of claims come back directly to Curve and get entered with the adjustments, with the payments and everything. Can you please go over that? Absolutely. So Curve will detect your insurance payments that um, are coming back in, and it's going to automatically post the pay insurance payment here on the billing ledger. Now, when that happens, it's going to allocate the, the payment the exact same way it would on the EOB. So you'll be able to see here from the billing ledger how each one of those dollar amounts were allocated to each line item. Now, great for our teams, especially when we start talking about things like bulk checks, because it's going to automatically put that payment to each payment and to each invoice that it, it belongs to which is, is huge for our teams when we're talking about having to manually post each one of those individual checks into the Curve system. It's also going to pull back in the EOB, so you'll have access to see that EOB and the ability to automatically adjust off things like your PPO write-offs will automatically adjust off here. But if it's something that needs your attention, uh, maybe it's something that's denied and you need to decide what you do with that next, Curve's going to notify you so that you know, um, hey, this needs my attention. I need to I need to check in on this claim. Perfect. That's a very good feature and something that can save a lot of time. And then I wanted to show you when, there, when it's a patient payment, um, when there's a patient balance, we do have an integrated partnership with um, global payments. They're taking care of our credit cards. Um, one of the things that they will allow you to do from inside a Curve is to send out a payment request. What that does is that receives uh, or sends out your patient to your patients a text to pay link. So from that link, your patients have access to see the statement. So rather than just saying, hey, you have a balance, please make a payment. We're also giving the patient access to that statement so they know where their balances are coming from. Now, once the patient makes the payment from their device, it comes back into Curve also and posts on the billing ledger. So potentially, that's both your insurance payments and your patient payments automatically posting 
here in the billing ledger for you. At the end of the day, it's also really nice um, that you're because things are posting automatically. It's one less report I have to run to make sure I balance um, because those payments are coming back in here and posting. I don't have to go run the report in the credit card system and inside Curve to make sure all of my payments were posted onto the billing ledgers. I wanted to show you that all claims section because I mentioned that earlier. This is where we can go to manage all of our claims rather than having to run a report to find those claims or having to call insurance companies. We can come here and there's all sorts of different filters up at the top. So you can check certain date ranges and you can organize this area by different headers like the claim status or maybe a payer. And this is where you would go to see the claim statuses you see over here on the right hand side. Those statuses change in real time as claims are going through the process. So once they've been paid, this, these two columns that are blank in mine, those will fill in on your paid claims. This is where you'll be able to access the checker EFT number, the release date. This is also where you would be able to right click and view that EOV here inside a curve. If it needs your attention, this is where we notify you. There will be an icon that says, hey, this claim has been completed, but it needs your attention. I'd like to also go into some reporting. The ability to create these or be able to customize these reports inside your system to find very specific information. So you can add in different filters like certain date range or providers, locations. You can filter by things like procedure codes and appointment costs. So you're really able to have these reports that are really specific to some of the needs that you're finding inside your practice as far as those reports are concerned. In addition to all of these reports that you're seeing that are listed and will come loaded in your system, you also have an ability to create a brand new report. And this is just allowing you to choose what you need on that report. There's different categories. And then we can come in and see all these different areas and you get to pick and choose. And whenever you complete that, that report is generated inside your system. So just a great way to create reports inside a curve that are really incredibly specific as far as what your office is looking for. I want to show a newer part of the system here. This is a more updated part. This one's called our Curve Insights. These are business analytic dashboards that are built in. And I have a few pulled up here for you to be able to see. Now, these that are built in, you also have the ability, just like I was showing previously in our reporting area, where you are able to create your own. So we have all these dashboards that will come as defaults, but then you can also go in and create your own reports and dashboards as well in this area. Now, this first one I have pulled up is just a, it's a practice review. It's gonna show us overall what's going on inside the practice. All of these also have filters. So you can add in that, like I was saying, date range or location provider. All of the dashboards will have numbers, statistics, percentages up at the top followed by tables, graphs, charts at the bottom that help us understand that information. Um, another really good one I have here is our recare dashboard that was always really important to us, not just making sure that patient was scheduled for their next appointment, but that they were set up on a recare in the, just in the first place. So being able to quickly find that information was really important to our practice. The next one I want to show you, or the last one I want, really want to show you, is one that I created. So this one actually combines our dashboards with our chart or with our reporting. So this one is a is helping me find any procedures that don't that the claim was never sent out. So I have my totals up here at the top, but down here at the bottom, instead of charts, I have a list of patients that this is the specific information. So I can come down here and see the list of that specific information. That way I can go back in and fix that or change that, whatever I need to do with it. So we're able to create these. I think happen to think that these can be really great to share with our teams as well. It's very visual and I'm a very visual person. Our teams can start brainstorming ideas when we start coming across these roadblocks and be able to kind of come up with those solutions together. Now, I like to point out that we also have an integrated partnership for electronic prescriptions. So if we're sending out our prescriptions electronically inside of Curve, one of the things that we can do is we can arrow down here next to prescriptions and we can launch over into our Copia. Now, this sends over all of our patient information into our Copia. So we don't have to do any double data entry. And then from here, we can send out all of our prescriptions electronically. We can track them from here. 
But once we send them, it's going to list it here inside of Curve. So you'll be even team members that don't necessarily need access to that part of the system are always going to be able to have access to see what exactly was prescribed, which doctor prescribed that medication, as well as a tracking number when we send out electronically. One of the last things I do like to show is just the ease of scheduling an appointment. Sometimes I feel kind of silly saying that, but, but so much of our day depends on whether or not our patients are coming back in, if they're scheduling those appointments. The ReCare system is color coded over here inside of um, Sidekick. So right now this is yellow. This just tells me this patient isn't scheduled. When I press the drop down more button, I can see when exactly they're due. Now this patient happens to be due today, but if it was for another day, I could right click and go straight to the due date. So I'm not having to toggle through my schedule to find that date. And then all I need to do is click where it says adult recare, and I can drag and drop that onto my schedule. Now, two things happened here. One, the appointment pre-filled. That's a part of our tagging system. So this allows us to tag an appointment with certain codes that maybe we typically associate with that visit. Just keep setting up our team for success from the minute this appointment is scheduled because the whole appointment's now been filled in. Now, over here in the sidekick, the word recare turned green, so it gave me a nice visual thumbs up. Something similar happens when we arrow down charting. We can access any unscheduled treatment the patient has. This can also be dragged and dropped onto our schedule. Um, that also pre-fills with any codes that maybe were associated with that visit. So we're able just to drag and drop these appointments, and then we don't need to write out a reminder card. Those automated messages will do the work for us at the minute that appointment is scheduled. I do want to review a brand new feature that we have out currently, and this one is a great one here. And so I do want to share this with everybody. This is going to be our mobile app. So this is a mobile app that we've just released from anywhere, from any phone or smartphone, our team members can have access to their schedule. They can schedule appointments directly from this mobile app, but they're also going to have access to be able to see patient-specific information. Like we can see when that last appointment is, when the next appointment is. We can even have access to see any images that have been taken for that patient. You know, maybe there's an emergency over the weekend and we need to call in a prescription. We're going to be able to access allergies, medical conditions, and medications. We can even come in and see those notes that have been listed for the patient. This is really huge because we're going to be able to have Curve in our pocket. And, and we're not sure that there's any other system out there right now that's able to provide this for their teams. We can even come in here and text back and forth with our patients from that mobile app. We're really excited about, about this one. This is something that I was a little jealous that I didn't get to experience while inside of the practice. All of this is all connected in real time with your schedule as well. So if something does get added from here, you're seeing it on your schedule inside Curve at any time. Uh, do you have a capability of sending patients? Does that go through the texting, filling out forms remotely, right? Yep, exactly. That goes through that texting. So you're going to be able to send that link over to the patient and they'd be able to access those forms. Absolutely. That is typically all the things that I like to show. Okay. And, and the app is just one thing that's really exciting. So I'm glad I got to show that to everybody today. Rebecca, I have been using this software and I am really excited about it. And I know it integrates with Curve and that's the Bola AI, the, the voice activated have you, do you have any experience with that? Yeah. So Bola is going to help us take some voice activated Perio. And I moved over here to a peer, our Perio charting area. When you partner with Bola up to the top left of your screen, you'll see kind of this, th these different recording icons. You're going to be able to have, you see kind of an attention up here. There's wake up notif or wake up commands and you're able to do your voice activated Perio charting here. We're told it's like having another hygienist perio chart with the with them because it just really picks up on the verbiage and the order that you're doing that that perio charting in it's also going to allow the teams to be able to do a voice activated no note taking as well yes but also new features are coming out that you'll be excited to know it's on my youtube channel you can watch it it's basically charting treatment planning charting of existing fillings everything is going and it's it's quite impressive how and they integrate with Curve. And that's one of the first things I ask. So that's awesome. Thank you very much. Nice talking to you again. Absolutely. Thank you.
Take care. Bye-bye.